It was 11 p.m. We were all asleep in the house when the soldier broke down the door. He came straight for me and grabbed me. I was shouting, I have a husband, I am married. And my husband came in. The soldier just knocked him down. I ran out with the children, shouting for help. They just started to beat my husband, all of them. One of them shot him. They grazed his head. I don't know how long it was. They dragged him away. They came back, beat me, and then they dragged me to their checkpoint. They threw us in a hole and told us to lie down and threw sand on top of us. We spent the whole night in the hole. In the morning, they told us to get out, but my husband was too weak. I managed to climb out. There was blood all over my face. They told me to pull my husband out of the hole, but I couldn't do it. So they dragged him from the hole. They told me to go home and take care of my children. Later, they came back. They had my husband. When I touched his body, he was dead. After I had fainted, it was the police who took me to the hospital. I remember everything about him. I was in love with him. He is a very funny person. The children ask about him all the time. He is always on my mind. He took very good care of us.